bend. All right, for an example of bend, I'm just going to add a mesh in here, cube, and I'm going to take this and scale it across the X. Then I'm going to hit tab on the keyboard, A to deselect it, and control R. Okay. Now if I wheel mouse up, I can add a lot of resolution to this. And then left click. To add the modifier, be in object mode, hit tab again, go into simple deform, and let's go to bend. Okay, so right now you can see that if I change this factor, it looks kind of strange. So do that. So let's go to bend with no factor. But if I go like this, click on the object, go object, apply, location, object, apply, rotation, and object, apply, scale, and then change the factor. I can now bend this and create a very unique shape. Of course, you could stack these modifiers. So if I did smooth resolution and hit subdivide once, I get this. If I go into edit mode, you can see that the, the deformer took effect this is the outcome of the deformer leaving this mesh. Okay, what I want to do is maybe make a change here. Turn on faces. If I take this end face and extrude it, control E, that will change the outcome of what the deformer is doing. If I scale that, you can see it's only affecting the one side. Okay, very cool. Uh, let's do a complex change. Okay, I used Shift Alt, Control E, right click. I'm going to scale that in just a little bit. Control E, right click. And I'm going to have the scale tool on and I'm going to hit along normal. Now you can see I have even more of a complex shape based upon the deformer. So, very interesting. I use it all the time. I love it. Um, if I need to actually have this piece like this forever and always, what I do is start at the top of the modifiers and hit apply and then apply. Okay. So that is the bend. Okay. Now let's look at a couple others in the next video. Sorry.